Hey guys, welcome back to the Toy Lounge, and today we're going to be looking at a 4-inch figure. It's the Fortnite Solo Mode Bandolier. And our Fortnite Bandolier comes to us courtesy of Jazzwares. Four inch, a very G.I. Joe inspired four inch figure, I think. One of the rain one of the main reasons why I picked this up. Ages eight plus and again from the solo mode wave. Quick look at the back. Some artwork of the bandolier. No shirt, no surrender. Also available in the wave, other figures shown. We've already looked at technique, and we'll also look at the other three figures down the line. But for now, let's open up Bandolier and have a closer look of what we get inside. And we're back and we have Bandolier outside of his packaging. We'll just quickly have a look at his accessories. He firstly comes with a base. Now, what I've noticed is these bases do connect to one another. We'll just put Bandolier over to the side and grab the base that Technique came with. Removing technique just quickly You have these little Peg holes On that end and with these tiny little pegs On the other piece And I believe I don't know if I'm doing this right I'm actually doing this for the first time. Hmm. Always learning on the job. There you go. So you have to give it a bit of force and they connect like so. And you could continue on with each figure you get either on this side that way and so on and have this uh, creator diorama if you like or actually build things as you would in the game perhaps So yeah, I believe they can also, uh, so you can also have them this way. And the more pieces you get, the more creative you can get I suppose. So yeah, that's that. And of course I'll show you guys as I go along with collecting more of these guys with, uh, you know, what you can actually create with them. But yeah. Moving on. The figure sits on the base quite easily. There's a you know, at first you have to give it a bit of a push, but it's okay. In the end, he stands on it quite easily. He also comes with a 
shark on a stick accessory as I would call it looks like a spear of some sort where he's placed the shark through the spear again I'm not very familiar with the game till this day so maybe you guys know what this is all about I can't say I'm not a fan of the game I've heard great things about it and I know it's very popular but I just haven't had a chance to play it but I purely collect this line or I've decided to collect this line being a G.I. Joe fan and this scale fitting very well with G.I. Joe I'm just, I've always been a fan of 4 inch scale figures taking a look at the figure very closely let's just have a look at that head sculpt nice detail on the gold framed sunglasses there with his uh, olive green headband his very Mr. T like hairstyle I guess nice detail on the ammo belt bullets are all painted in gold and if you look at his right arm some sort of a gauntlet with some buttons there some maybe he uses that in the game I'm not sure nice detail on the arm arm straps they are also uh, molded on they're not removable some flexible rubber there with the knots interesting looking belt or waistband that sits over the belt some digital olive green camo pads with a pouch cool looking shin guards nice details on the boots as well the paint overall on the figure is really good I can't really fault it it looks like he has like the uh, the remains of where his shirt used to be it looks like it's torn off or it may be some kind of like pattern that's painted on him I'm not sure but my guess is it's the uh, it's a very worn out shirt that's been torn to pieces after some heavy battle
Articulation, again, has all the same uh, articulation as technique, which I really like. The head rotates on a ball right above, and there's also a hinge which helps him bring it forward and back. So, nice articulation there. You can also get some side to side tilt just slightly. Shoulders go as far as you'd want them to go. They rotate a full 360. They also rotate on the elbow, full 360. Also bends at the elbow, about there. Very close to 90 degree, I'd say. Rotates at the wrist. And also you have a bend at the wrist. Kind of tight at first, but once you loosen it up, it's there. The mid-torso rotates all the way around. Kind of gets that forward movement slightly. You have a cut at the waist that also rotates just between the two belts there. Legs go out to there. They can do the full splits. They have a upper thigh cut that also rotates. Double jointed knees. The knees go up to about there. Quite impressive. Ankles. Forward and back. They do they pivot? I'm not sure. I guess you can get a slight pivot. Okay, so they don't rotate a full well they rotate a full 360 I should say. But they kind of pivot as they rotate. So that's quite impressive. Place him back on the base. I do hope they release more military styled characters from the game. Most of what I see so far is uh, very futuristic-like, with futuristic-like armor. But I do enjoy this style. Very uh, G.I. Joe inspired, if you ask me. Or would fit, fit in well with your G.I. Joes. Maybe as a Dreadnought, perhaps. just to give you an idea. But yeah, overall again, very impressed with this figure and I can't, I can't wait to review the others. So this will, this line's definitely gonna be 
something or continue to collect hoping they continue to produce more figures and I think they will and just a quick look of how this line fits in with other lines you have him here next to uh, some Leonard core figures so scales pretty well next to them I also noticed that the uh, digital camo on the pants is kind of similar on these two figures and I think slightly taller than the uh, power to elite line but still fits in well just to give you an idea of how they scale in with the other line and uh, stick around till the end of the video I'm gonna have this uh, have this figure set up with some of the vehicles just give you an idea how with uh, how they scaling with the uh, with the vehicles so yeah that's about it thanks for watching guys stay tuned there's more on the way I'll see you next time.